In this tutorial, we'll look at how to do a basic sequence of rough draft, peer review or peer critique, and then final draft using the Turnitin PeerMark software. So I'm in Canvas right now and I have two assignments. I have one assignment set up for rough draft and critique, and then I've got another that is set up for the SA1 final draft. And the reason for setting up two assignments is a Turnitin assignment through the LTI can only take a single submission. Even if you allow your students to resubmit, when they resubmit, the first file gets overwritten. And if that file had a peer review attached to it in PeerMark, that all gets wiped out as well. So it's pretty simple. What we do is just set up a rough draft assignment. So the students will submit a rough draft of this assignment. And then they'll also go back here to this LTI tool to complete their critique. Um, so that's the way that works. And then once they get their critiques back or they're even also uh, their comments from you and maybe peer marks from other students, then they revise and they would go about uh, turning in here their final draft. And so uh, if you have a more complicated sequence, you just build in more draft and, and critique assignments and things like that. So let's go ahead and go into the, our rough draft assignment and we're going to add the peer critique element to that. And we're going to do that by going over into our settings here on Turnitin. And we want to click the optional settings. And there's really two things that we want to, to do here. Um, we want to, first of all, because this is a rough draft, we don't want to store the submitted papers. Um, though we'll still get originality reports, and if you let your students see those in your settings, they'll still be able to do that. But what we don't want is when the students turn in the final draft for it to flag those. And by telling Turnitin not to store the submitted papers in, in their repository, um, we'll avoid those false matches from a rough draft to a final draft sequence. We also want to click Add Peer Mark Assignment here, and that's going to add our Peer Mark Assignment. And of course, you have your turn in tooltips tool to give you some details about what that's doing. So now that we've got our uh, settings for the Peer Mark, we'll just hit Submit. And now that we have uh, submitted our Peer Mark Assignment and our settings, we get a couple of extra tabs. Uh, this is where we'll be able to see the papers that the students review and how they work on those and everything. And here, we're going to want to set up a few things for our peer mark, so we'll click that. Um, we can assign it a point value if we like, so, you know, if it's whatever, how many ever points out of the total, it's, it's worth to submit the rough draft and then do the peer mark. Please note that the grades from the peer mark do not sync. They do not sync. Um, so I actually do that manually on two monitors and add it together in one assignment. There are a couple of different ways to handle it. Um, the start date is automatically set and can't be changed to the due date of the rough draft. That's just a turn it in thing. And of course, we want to change this um, to whatever we're gonna, whenever we're going to have our critiques due. And then our feedback release date, we'll need to set that as well to whatever you like. And on the additional settings, you get some options here. Um, if you want automatic grading, it'll give the students full points if they totally complete the critique process for each paper that they're assigned. And uh, you can select these and read them as you like. It changes the behavior a little bit. And uh, there we go. And you can select how many papers you want each student to get. And you can actually have the, you know, get the students assigned one and you can have them choose one, up to you. You can also require the students to go through a self-review process where they critique their own paper if you like or however you want to, you know, whatever you want to set these up. And then, of course, you close and then save and continue. And if you have any instructions for the students, you can put them there. Now... Here, once we submit those options, we get taken to a screen where we get to add questions. And you can, of course, save them into libraries. So you only have to write your questions once, and then you can just toggle them and add selecting questions. And of course, you can add 
a question by hand or you can reorder a question, you can go back in and add uh, for separate library. Like if my students are using sources, I have questions about citation. So I can just toggle all my questions about citation and get them to answer questions about use of, and citation of sources as they critique. And once you've got those added, that's all you need to do. There's no saving or anything. It saves it automatically. And there you go. You're all done. And now when the students log in, they will first submit the rough draft. And then once the rough draft has been due, they'll be able to log in again and start their critique process. In my blog on the Canvas community, I do have a PDF tutorial for students. Um, that, uh, that they can use uh, to give them instructions on how to complete the peer review process in PeerMark. I hope this tutorial has been helpful and I hope you have a good day. Thanks for taking the time to watch.